Oh no, I'm not in the pseudoers file. An incident has been reported. But wait, where has it been reported to? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you where the log files for pseudoers ends up. I know it doesn't end up in Santa's naughty or nice list, and I'm sure Tux doesn't really care so much. So sudo is related to authentication, and that ends up in a file called auth.log, which is located in slash var slash log. And if we take a look at it, that actually shows you a lot more information than just the errors, because that also shows you informational stuff as well. So perhaps you want to narrow it down to a specific error, and you can do so by using grep, which is finding text in a file, and we can grep for the word not. I know that is a very poor way of using grep, and perhaps the more appropriate way would be to actually just run grep without cat. So you can get the same result just using grep. This is just one way of finding out the information. Now if you have system D on your Linux system, which most Linux systems do these days, you can actually view the log files with journal CTL. So journal CTL, and that displays a lot more than just system access because this is everything. And oh, well, it does show the error that we're looking for there and it's nicely highlighted. Perhaps it'd be nice to narrow it down to authentication issues or more like sudo issues. So we're gonna narrow it down by looking at that specific program. And the way you do that with journal CTL is to type in the name and location of the program. But where is sudo located? Oh, I don't know. Oh, let's, let's just um, utilize which, which tells us the location of where sudo is. So we've got a lot of information there, but you'll see it's just related to sudo. And I'll show you the result of what which does. So if you do which sudo, it just tells you where the program is located. What we can do is narrow the information we have in journal CTL down to the last boot up time with dash B. And yet that narrows it down quite nicely. I can see that uh, authentication attempt has been done twice. Oh, naughty Alice, naughty Alice. But it would be good to narrow it down further and see just that error message. And we can do so by using dash P, which you can vary between one and seven. I can't remember what one stands for, but three is error and seven is informational. So we're narrowing it down to three and lower. So error or more. And there I have the information I'm looking for. Who has been attempting to utilize sudo without the appropriate privileges? Both the examples I've showed here are terminal related, but if you prefer a graphical user interface, we do have that option as well. So in Ubuntu, or with the GNOME desktop specifically, you have a program called Logs, GNOME Logs, I'm guessing, which gives a simpler view to the journal CTL logs. And we can search in it, and we would search for the word sudo. So there we have the same error, Alice is not in the sudoers. There is also an equivalent application within KDE called KSystemLog. So that is how we can see who has been naughty and tried running sudo without the appropriate permissions. Well, thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.